What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got the gems, and we are playing against a crazy relinquish hybrid deck from Mr. Halo. Um, I always thought he was a Yangzing player because usually when I play against him, that's what he runs. But he was busting out some crazy, like, level one relinquish shit today. And I was like, I don't even know what the heck that this was. This was on uh, Thursday stream as well. And um, I've got a pretty good opening hand. I've got Gem Armadillo. I've got Brilliant Fusion. Really, what I need in this hand is just, like, Gem Knight Fusion. And I just be able to like if your opponent's not playing back row, i could pretty much kill any deck unless they're playing like you know domain monarchs and they have like first turn domain obviously then i can't you know do anything but against most decks like this is a really good opening with gem knights but you just need gem knight fusion so that i can just go off so let's go ahead and play it and um <clears throat> you see i open up with uh armadillo i just search a generic uh vanilla you can never really have enough vanillas the reason i searched the vanilla is because i had two uh, Lazuli's in my hand, so I was like, okay, if I get Gem Knight Fusion, I'm probably gonna use, you know, like I'm gonna dump some Vanillas for Brilliant Fusion, and then I want to be able to get those Vanillas back because I have these, and then I, you know, just like you can't too many there, too many Vanillas is not really a problem in Gem Knights as long as you have Lazuli's because you can just put them back in your hand and refuse. So he summons Jester Confit, and then he activates Where Art Thou, and he gets himself a Treeborn Frog. Then he activates another Where Art Thou, and he gets himself a Battle Fader. So Battle Fader is kind of like a, a hard counter to this deck because Gem Knights want to OTK, like you want to be doing big battle damage a lot of the time. You want to just basically try and kill your opponent, especially if you, if you have Brilliant Fusion and Gem Knight Fusion at the same time. But at the same time, you can obviously do burn damage with Lapis Lazuli. So it's it's like a secondary option that you have where you don't have to completely try and OTK him. Now, he did have to pay 2,000 light points because of Where Art Thou. Um, I kind of wish that they stacked. I don't think that they do. Like, he played two Where Art Thou's, but he only takes 2,000 damage. I was like, dude, if he has to take 4,000 damage, I'll just burn him to death. I won't even bother attacking through the battle fader. So let's go ahead and keep playing. I think I topped like another Armadillo and... Um, you guys are probably wondering why I didn't play Castell there. I don't run it. <laughs> Stupid me. I only run... I run uh, Gem Knight Pearl, and I run... What's it called? I run Pearl, and I run uh, Diagosto Emerald. Now, I decide because I'm just not getting Absorb Fusion, and I'm also not getting my... What's it called? I'm not getting Absorb Fusion or Gem Knight Fusion. I decide to just go ahead and play the Brilliant Fusion. Usually, I try and go into... Uh, Lady Brilliant Diamond here to get like to maximize my graveyard and whatnot, but I just go for um, a Lapis Lazuli. I'm just trying to do some burn damage at this point. So I use the effect of um, Lapis Lazuli. I burn him 4,000 because she's 500. He's a uh, Soccer Magician's 502. I exceed into the Diagustal Emerald and I summon out a Gem Knight uh, Garnet from my graveyard. Then I normal, I think, another. Garnet or one of my normals and um, I summon Gem Knight Pearl. So basically I have three Gem Knights on or I have two Gem Knights on the field and then I've got a Digusto Emerald. Digusto Emerald works good in Gem Knights because of all of these random ass normals that you run. I've got the Solemn Strike. Now here's the point or here's the thing. I figured I can probably just kill him if I get like if I get Gemini Fusion, it's over. Because if he tries to activate Battle Fader, I'll use Solemn Strike and that'll just be the end of it. You know what I mean? I'll just kill him. So he gets himself another a copy of Relinquish. Again, we don't know any of this. Like, we don't know any of these cards. So I use Lapis's effect and I burn him. Um, I don't know why I'm not attacking. Here's the crazy thing. He activates Black Illusion Ritual, and I'm like, what the hell? Because, again, I don't know that he has Relinquish in his hand. At this, at, you know, basically throughout the entire duel, I thought he was just playing a whole bunch of, like, level 1 monsters, like Kinky Buyu and Jester Conf. I'm like, what is this? Is this level 1 deck, or is there a 1 for 1 coming? And then he summons Black Illusion Ritual, and I'm like, uh... Kappa? Like, <laughs> who runs this? I haven't seen Relinquish used in, like, five or six years. Now, Relinquish is trying to it's trying to suck up something. I'm like, I don't think I want that to happen. So I do end up soloming it. And I feel pretty good. I'm like, okay, well, Relinquish is dead. It's not coming back. Yo, I did not know Real Talk. I did not know that you could get Relinquish back from Kinky Booyah. I was like, oh, my God. Outplayed, outskilled. I had no idea that, that this thing could be summoned. And it gets its effect. Like, what? So he ends up absorbing my Gem Knight Pearl. And at this point, I'm probably going to lose my entire field. Uh, and I do. I My Digusto Emerald gets ran over. And then my... And this is just fucking crazy. <laughs> 
My Digesto Emerald gets ran over. My Lapis dies too because she has no stats. Then he exceeds. Then he plays rank up Baryan Force. And then he just goes into Utopic Dragon. I'm like, oh my god, how did you just... You went from a Relinquish to a 4,000 attack. Mod, like, just like that. And if you look at my hand, I don't have any plays. I don't have Gem Knight Fusion. I need that card to empty out all of these damn cards in my hand. I mean, Crystal Rose is kind of cool, but it doesn't really do anything. Like, I need Gem Knight Fusion badly. And I top deck Gem Knight Fusion. Heart of the motherfucking cards, right, guys? <laughs> now, at this point, I summon my Lapis. Now, I, I can't commentate all of this because at this, I'm just going to fuck off. This is what Gem Knights do. You see, I'm going to probably fuse at least three or four times in this turn uh you want to activate your uh lazuli's like a lot you see that i'm just <laughs> i'm sorry i can't even i can't even keep up with all the like plays i mean i think i activated gym Knight fusion four times in that turn uh and actually here's the crazy thing i tried to and i even said it in my chat I said I didn't want to win like a scumbag. So at this point in main phase two, because I actually had forgot about the battle fader in his hand. I was like, because he got it turn one. And, you know, we had kind of been going back and forth and he had passed turns so many times. I literally forgot that he had it. I could at this point activate Master Diamond's effect. I could banish my Lapis Lazuli. I could burn him to death. But I was like, Nah, I want to. I want to be honorable. Like, if I'm doing all of this, if I'm summoning four fusions in one turn, why go out that way? Why not win like a man? You know what I mean? So I just add the brilliant fusion to my hand. I use uh, this guy's effect. I blow up the battle fader. And um, yo, the top decks are real. This motherfucker ends up. He gets the tree born fog. He top decks black illusion ritual. At this point, I'm like, okay, why didn't I just? <laughs> Why didn't I just burn him to death if he ends up coming back? Because this thing has 4,100 attack. It's a lot. I've, I, And that's how I got over his Utopic. I actually ran it over. I didn't even try and blow it up. I was like, I want to I kill this thing like a man. I've never gotten Master Diamond's attack this high because it's, its stat line is based on the number of Gem Knights in your graveyard. Gem Knight monsters. And look at my graveyard. I've got like trillions of Gem Knight monsters in my graveyard. So he ends up the brilliant top deck. I mean, it's amazing. So he ends up absorbing my Master Diamond. Now the crazy thing is Relinquish only gains the original attack. So actually he's still kind of boned. And my brilliant, uh, my Lady Brilliant Diamond, uh, she does have her original attack because I pitched the, um, I pitched the, uh, brilliant fusion from my or excuse me the uh, gem knight fusion from my hand for brilliant fusion to give her stat line back so at this point he knows that he can't win i top deck obsidian but i'm not really done swagging yet because with gem knight yeah he quit <laughs> He ended up surrendering because I used Crystal Rose from the grave. Uh, by the way, I just kind of realized during this match, if Crystal Rose was not once per turn, oh my god, Gym Knights would be so ridiculously good. I was going to probably get the um, the Gym Knight Fusion from my graveyard. I was going to use Obsidian plus uh, Crystal Rose. I don't know what I was going to summon. Just basically whatever I had left. But, I mean, I already had enough stuff on, on field to kill him. Plus, I could have just used... Um, I could have used uh, Lady Diamond to obviously just tribute this Crystal Rose because it actually counts as a Gem Knight right now. And I could have just gotten another copy of Master Diamond. But either way, it was pretty much GG because Relinquish's stats were just not big enough to keep up with um, like my Gem Knight. So I thought it was pretty entertaining. The duel was just, it was kind of crazy, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching as always.